everyone. Today I'm going to show you how I transform a mess to yes. <laughs> So I did a total transformation with this hair. So I was going to throw it in the trash, but I say, you know what? Let me restore it and make it into a wig. And that's exactly what I did. If you saw what this hair looked like after it was done, it was dry and brittle and a hot mess. I just brought it back to life. No, every hair does not deserve to be thrown in the trash. I will show you how I went from just hair to wig and curls. Just keep watching and hopefully you will subscribe and be one of my subscribers by the end of the video. So please continue to watch. Thank you. This is a view of what the hair looks like. I was ready to throw it away because it was some old hair that I sewed in previously. I had decided to make a wig out of it and this is the beginning process. I had sewed down the closure and I am about to sew down the remaining of the hair. While I'm doing that, I started bleaching the front two pieces of my closure because I wanted the highlights to be just a little bit brighter. While that was processing, I decided to finish my wig. That way I can kill two birds with one stone. <laughs> so here I am finally done. I brought it to work. I am just putting more bleach through the rest of the hair. And at this point, I was just slapping bleach anywhere I could possibly think of. It wasn't a proper way that I was doing it. I figured since the hair was going to go in the trash, there was no love lost. So why not add just a little bit more color? The wig was a little dry when I was done, but I knew exactly what to do to bring it back. Shimmer Light and Herbal Essence are the products that I will be using today to rinse the bleach off and wash the hair. The Shimmer Light is really good when you are bleaching hair. And the Herbal Essence, I typically like that for all my weave. Now, I am going to deep condition the hair. I put it in the microwave for about two minutes, maybe less. I put it inside of a shower cap and then put it inside the microwave. Taking it out of the microwave, it was nice and steamy, but the hair was nice and conditioned. Imagine you getting a hot oil treatment. So that is pretty much what I did to the hair. Now I am adding some Oregon oil on the hair that way when it dries up it's not as dry. I am going to let it air dry. So while that is going on I measured my head. I typically measure from the top of my ear to the top of my other ear and I pull on it just a little bit that way it could be nice and tight but not too tight that way it won't feel uncomfortable. Here I am sewing the band to my weave net. I am sewing it to the ear tabs of the net and I am going to sew it at an angle because my head is round so by the time I put this wig on it will fit perfectly. Just a reminder this is not a video on how I make my wigs. I have a separate video for that that I will add the link to under the bio in the description or at the corner. So please click on that if you want to know how exactly I make my wigs in full details. Also if you want to learn how I do my own sewing with my closure, I also have a video with full details on how I did that with this exact hair. So I will leave that info in the description or at the end of this video. Here I am adding wig combs to my wig. That way I have more security and my wig won't just fall off. This is the wig after deep conditioning it and letting it air dry. Now I am trimming the dead ends and just cutting and snipping it all off. The hair felt nice and soft and refreshed and the color came out pretty decent. Now only thing it probably needed was just a little bit more sheen. So I sprayed more sheen before flat ironing every pieces. 
and because I wanted to have a bouncy wand curl look I decided that I was going to flexi ride it and leave it overnight that way my flexi rides could come out really nice and bouncy I could have did a wet set with the flexi rides but I felt like I needed that heat just to straighten the hair just a little bit. That way it could be really nice and shiny and straight, but not too oily. The spray that I'm using is called a wig shine spray. And I like using it for dry, brittle weave. And it just does the job. I try not to spray too much because you don't want your hair to be greasy stiff and just too oily where it does doesn't have any body this is what the flexi rise look when i got all done and finished and it's beautiful but today is the next day and i'm excited to see what my wig turned out you know last night my wig had a long day so i um made sure i wrapped her up keep them curls intact so, I'm excited. So I'm gonna take this wig, put it on my head while I still have the curls in. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So, let me move this out of the way. comb right here. I'm going to snap the comb back. And then the comb is in the front. I'm going to put that in as well. And then the comb on this side. So my wig is nice and tugged. I'm going to take my rollers out. <laughs> yes, I'm excited. So while I'm taking my flexi rise out, I'm just admiring how beautiful it looks. I love the color, the texture, the shine. You know, everything feels great and amazing about this hair. I did not glue it down. I did not sew it down. It just fit perfectly and snug and it was not too tight. So I will have to say this has been the best wig I've made thus far. So here I am spreading my curls apart. I'm doing the finger combing method instead of using a wide tooth comb. Sometimes the wide tooth comb might make it a little messy and I want to keep the curls defined. So that is what I'm doing. However, my attempt was also to make it bigger. The bigger, the better. Who wants flat hair? <laughs> so yes, this is what it looks like at the end. And what do you think? So, oh, I ended up flipping it to the side part and I actually like the side part better. If you would like to see what I have up next, please subscribe and like. By the way, thanks to you all, I finally reached my 1,000 subscriber goals. So, yes! <laughs> so, once again, thank you for watching. Greatly appreciate it. Bye!